guys welcome back to my channel so this is a video I've been wanting to do before the weather changes because the car's going to go back in storage soon uh, anyway you guys have been asking can you do another walk around video of the FD but explain what you've done over the nine years so that's what I'm going to do today so we'll go and grab the RX-7 out of the garage I'll bring it up here and then we'll start with the front bumper and I'll explain what I've done from the front bumper all the way around and then what a couple of my future plans are going to be so if you're interested, stick by this video and uh, let us know in the comments what you think. Right guys so here it is so as I say let's start with the front bumper this was taken off the car about two years ago completely sanded back and resprayed along with the respray I had a this 99 spec front splitter done so that's off the new RX-7 just fitted to the 92 spec bumper all the grills have been remeshed and resprayed in gloss black whilst I had the grills off I purchased some of these OEM fog lights with the yellow bulbs quite hard to find now uh, private plate and then the size of that number plate was 12 inch by 3 the side lights the side lights have been taken off because I didn't really like the OEM ones so I've got these clear ones with black backgrounds this front Affini badge that's brand new that's a recent purchase so that was from Japan I think that's pretty much it for the bumper side of things so yeah as I said it was just resprayed and then all fitted back together the bonnet is OEM, very light. I think they're like aluminium from factory or something. Uh, again, that's not been touched, that's just been polished by myself. So these pop-up headlights, these are new. These are actually fiberglass from Concept7. The clips on the original ones are prone to snap. So uh, a guy from Concept7 remakes those in fiberglass, makes the fixings a lot stronger. So these have recently just been put on and resprayed. The other thing on this bumper, sorry, is these bumper blanks here again these are from concept 7 the orange reflectors don't look very nice so they look a bit more subtle so the front fenders here they're actually OEM but the only thing I've had done is I've rolled the lip on the inside here to make these 18 inch wheels fit so whilst we're on the subject of the wheels these are Workmeister M1s with gold bolts going around the around the edge there I didn't really like the, the silver works uh, centre cap, so I got these black VS ones. Just goes with the theme a bit more. The bullet shaped gold wheel nuts in the middle there. And then I got the wheel decals made online. And then as you can see there, I've got some rotor shaped dust caps. So my front wheel specs here, these are 18 by 9.5 J. And the offset is ET plus 22. No wheel spacers. The front tyres are 23540R18, but I will be going down another profile size because the tyres do scrub from time to time on the wheel arch liner, so um, I will get those changed at some point. However, the rears are pretty good, which I'll get to in a second. Another thing you can see through the wheels here is my yellow calipers. There's actually a video on my playlist if you guys want to check that out. There was four layers of old paint on those calipers, which is an absolute nightmare to get off, but... Yeah, this is a recent change. They were blue before, but I decided to go yellow to match the number plates and the gold features on the car, which I quite like. Uh, moving around. Now, I used to have these side skirts when I first bought the car, but they were made out of like a weird foam and they, they just split the paint, so it's not very great. Uh, so these are from Concept7 again, and much stronger, really good fitment. So they just need this respray, so that's all re recently done. 
and I have got some carbon fibre side steps coming, that will be in another video soon, that's a parcel I'm currently waiting for. Slightly up from that, these are some black LED side repeaters, just think they look a bit more nicer than the OEM ones. As I say, where I've gone on a black on black theme, I just want the details just to stick out a little bit. So, yeah, LED black side repeaters here, very smart little look. Uh, these are OEM mirrors from factory. I quite like them with the theme that I've gone for if I stand back So there's nothing wrong with those mirrors. I quite like them. So I'll keep those as they are Four piece carbon fiber handle set. So it's these two bits here on each side and then these handles as you can see So a nice nice glossy carbon fiber these stickers I had locally made so the red Affini badge and the red RX-7 badge, as you can see here, have both been replaced. They come from Japan. The rear bumper is uh, standard. What I did do, though, over the years was take all these reflectors out and that they've all been replaced because the old ones I had were um, cracked, scratched, and they just did not look really good at all. So these have actually all been replaced as well. Another big question people keep asking is what diffuser is this? So this is an RE Amemia street diffuser uh, i purchased that back in 2014 i think and then as you come round, you can see on the side here i fitted these oem spats which are from factory it's just joined onto the diffuser um, and then when you stand back it all just flows quite nicely with the side skirts and then follows round with the rear diffuser so that was kind of my aim as i just wanted to look subtle not over the top, but it just looks stealthy at the same time. I've got a rear window tint on here, but it needs redoing. It's got like a purple tint on it. I think that's been on there since I've owned the car. So um, I do want to get that ripped off and just put into like a light black tint. This is a parking permit from Japan. That's been on the car since I've owned it. I quite like that it's part of the car, so I haven't removed it for that reason. Just a little uh, bit of history with the car as such. Now, this is a question a lot of people ask is what type of spoiler is this on my car? So this is a genuine Mazda Speed spoiler for the RX-7. Quite hard to get hold of now. Um, I had a horrendous looking spoiler on this before I owned the car. Uh, so yeah, this looks much better in my opinion. Absolutely love these spoilers and the 99 spec ones look really good as well. But for the setup I've got, I quite like the look of the Mazda Speed. Now the rear lights when I bought it were not these ones, these are 99 spec rear lights from the newer RX-7 FDs. So these were purchased back in, I think it's 2013 I got those. Much better looking lights in my opinion. I'll quickly flick them on for you guys just so you can see what they look like when they're on. So yeah, these in my opinion, these are the best looking backlights for the RX-7. Really nice. The rear number plate is brand new as well. So my rear wheel specs are 18 by 10.5J. The offset is ET plus 22. No wheel spacers and the tire sizes are 25540R18. And I find with this setup, I've had no issues whatsoever with any rubbing, etc. Um, so yeah, I highly recommend this setup. I have, however, had the rear arches rolled and the arches flared 15 mil the suspension on it is hsd monopros so you can get the ride height sitting perfect underneath the car is all completely sanded back was all wax oiled and uh, under sealed no no rust issues whatsoever all underneath has been done uh, a couple of bushes and stuff's been replaced and there's still a lot more stuff under the car that i do want to do in time so as i said there's always something to do anyone that's got a car build they will know what i mean it just never ends to be honest but yeah, so as I say, these, the suspension on it is HSD Monopros. just sits absolutely perfect. Really good handling. Literally night and day difference, to be honest, from the stock suspension when I swapped it over. So, uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it, guys. So let's move on to the interior. Now, the red interior in the RX-7s, these are from the Bathurst X model, or the Bathurst R, I believe. So there's only 700 sets of this, I believe, made in the world. Could be completely wrong, but I have read something to do with it. Um, so yeah, I'm lucky enough to source what I could. The front chair does need replacing still. I just cannot find a better replacement for it at the moment, but it will be. So that's the red interior. I've got all of that, all the rear stuff in the back as well. Uh, door cards, 
Uh, all this is hydro dipped at the moment, but it's going to go gloss black soon. So that'd be a separate video. All this dome wheel and all this centerpiece wheel. And eventually I will get real carbon fiber. Talking of carbon fiber. So these are genuine feed door seal covers. Very, very nice. Quite expensive now, if you can find them. One of my favorite features on the inside is this handmade steering wheel I had done in America. And then I bought a Nardi steering wheel. We had to do some machining to make the, the center fit. And then the bolts, these titanium bolts are from a company called Pro Bolt UK. Uh, then I've got the D1 spec boss kit on the top there, if you can see, it's just a quick release. It does have a, so down here, you can see I've got a Greddy Pro Fret controller. I've got that currently limited on boost at the moment because I'm currently saving up for a downpipe and some other bits and bobs and it's going to require a remap. Uh, that down here is a turbo timer. I need to rip that out because it's no use to me. In the middle here, I've got carbon fiber D1 spec gear knob and handbrake covers there. This has been replaced as coin collector. Very common to break on these RX-7s. So that was a replacement I had to do. And this is another thing that breaks on the RX-7s is these clips on the ins inside of these. So that's been replaced as well. Loads of trim and other things. I'm not going to go through the list, but has been replaced just because it was so tatty or broken when I bought the car. It's quite common on the RX-7s. As you can see here, I've got some plasma dials, a boost gauge. And I've got more plans to get like um, different, better gauges and stuff in the future. It's on the list to do. Uh, these mats, these red mats, these are rare now to get hold of. Again, as part of the Bathurst interior, but I've got the full set of those. As you can see down there in the back both sides in the front. Um, I will pop the boot quickly, I just need to show you something in the boot. Okay, so these Bose systems are a factory optional extra, and I was lucky enough to source this a couple of years ago. So you need to get this whole system. There's a, a different mat for this to fit, all, all around the edges as you can see, it's made to fit. So I had to source the mat separate. Again with the parcel shelf because it sticks up through, so when you shut the boot, these pop up through. Looks quite neat when you look through the window. So yeah, managed to source all of the Bose system setup. I just like the fact it's an optional extra and I've got it. Battery was relocated when doing the V-mount setup in the engine bay, which we'll be getting around to in a minute. So you will see why that's in the boot. But again, nice little tidy job out the way. Now I've got this little device on the terminal which you just turn and it cuts the power off the car. So it doesn't drain your battery when you're not using it for long periods of time. Really good little um, little buy that. So yeah, let's uh, let's get to the engine bay because I'm sure you guys are itching to see the engine bay. Okay, so this is my engine bay currently. Now, as I was sent at the start of the video, there is some future plans to go single turbo eventually, but I'm in no rush to do that at the moment because I won't do, I won't be doing anything like that until the engine does go bang and then you're left with an option to actually do it. So let's start with the front here. So this is a carbon fiber cooling panel, which was from Japan. This V-mount setup is probably one of my favorite things on the car. So it's a, a Greddy, uh, V-mount intercooler here, stamped all trust on the side, as you can see. Underneath that, there is the alloy Koyo radiator. All the coolant hoses are down there as well, all linked to the rad. Um, just for those that know about the the cooling issues in RX-7s, this is like one of the one of the best setups to run if you can do it. So the battery, as I was just saying in the boot, that used to sit just here. So for the intercooler to fit, I had to relocate the battery to the boot to then make the intercooler fit yeah so the guys from uk auto collective club they helped me out do all of this work on the on the car so i can't take credit just for doing this all on my own because i did have help from those guys so for those that want to check uk auto collective out hit them up anyway all these pipes are custom made and then i then got the ruse motorsport hoses custom made from them guys these are mishimoto clamps as you can see there's a recent video of this being fitted because these hoses were blue before, if you've seen my previous walk around video. All the pulleys in the middle. This is another question I get asked by a lot of people is where did you get these pulleys from? So these were from a company called DM Motorsport in the UK. 
the DM Motorsport is not available anymore unfortunately but I was lucky enough to get the full pulley kit I just really like the uh, the rotor shaped alternator pulley the best just really stands out all the water pump behind there and all the other brackets around it, it's all been hand painted in silver it all does need a clean to be honest um, I have been driving it a lot recently so um, yeah I need to give it a good clean over here there's some carbon fiber greddy bonnet dampers over Again, just goes with all the touches of the uh, strut brace and other little bits and bobs of carbon fibre, nothing too much. To the side here, that's a TGS ATS delete tank, so it deletes, it eliminates a lot of the hoses and stuff that goes on round here. Black braided hose coming off, which goes to the uh, overflow tank over here. And then that's a recent purchase, a genuine black Greddy coolant cap on the top there. The alternator was taken apart by myself. The casings were powder coated, the centre was resprayed in graphite grey, uh, all the bearings etc was all serviced and replaced. All these little bolts down here you can see they're all titanium from ProBolt UK, um, cost a small fortune to do that to be fair. Uh, moving around here, all the air filters are brand new, a recent purchase again from ProRam. Type through here as you can see that's brand new. The pipe at the top here is brand new, it's all on a recent video that I've posted. Another one of my favourite features here is this Cuzco strut brace in carbon fibre. Um, I replaced all these to titanium as well. So these are just aluminium covers for the fuse boxes and I just resprayed those graphite grey. These are made from spec R, so some covers I've got, just the odd ones. So one here, one here, and one over here. Uh, and sorry, and one at the top as well. Um, so yeah, that heat, spec R is local to me, so... Uh, He's made me those just to fit, just have it different to everyone else's stuff. Through here is just a rotor oil cap. And then at the top is a custom made plenum carbon fibre cover, which a lad from Australia made me. I got these custom made feed stickers, like the door handles from the local vinyl shop. Over here you can see there's a Greddy elbow. Then I sanded the logo back just so it stands out a bit. Down here is the HKS oil filter and then just some extra silicon hoses again to make it reliable. At the top there, oil catch tank. And then the boost controller setup, which goes into the car as I was saying earlier. Over in the corner there, as you can see, there's a custom made ABS cover over there, resprayed in black, just a bit of a different detail. Power wise is about 320 brake roughly. It does require a remap at the moment because I'm doing different changes and stuff, but that'll be very soon. Uh, Future-wise, as I say, I do want to go single turbo, but until something goes wrong with my engine, I'm not going to rush anytime soon to get all that done. I probably will start buying parts just to get ahead a bit, but as I say, it drives fine. It looks nice as it is, so um, yeah, I'm quite happy to leave it for now. Just to make all this stuff fit, there's a lot of work that had to be done that you guys won't see here, but... Um, we had to relocate a lot of things to make things fit. We had to get a lot of things cut up to fit um, So yeah, I don't want to drag on about all the stuff that had to be done, but Yeah, this is basically as it is at the moment. It does need a bit of a clean believe it or not Probably doesn't look too bad in the video uh, Which leads me to the next thing I will be doing a, a full detail video soon and um, before I put this away in the winter time So stay tuned for that video as well. We'll give it a full DA polish Give it a good ceramic coat so another item that I'm currently waiting for is the plastic headlight surround covers when you pop the headlights up in carbon fibre. That's on the same order as the side steps and the um, windscreen shield that I'm waiting for. So I'll just pop the headlights up for you now so you can see what I'm talking about. So these ugly looking plastic bits here around the headlight, these are going to go nice glossy carbon fibre so it matches this cooling panel here. Uh, I think that looked pretty smart when, they, when the lights are up. Um, these headlights as well, there's a guy in Canada that custom makes these headlights with carbon fibre backgrounds and has some LEDs in them, so I'm going to get in contact with him at some point as well. Um, I think that looked pretty cool. So that's it for today's video guys of my RX-7 FD here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now as I say, there is more videos yet to come, so if you haven't already liked and subscribed to my channel, please hit that subscribe button because it massively helps me to stay motivated to do more and more of these videos for you guys to see. There is big future plans, as I say, for this, especially the engine bay and time. Um, I am currently waiting for a parcel, which was the three items I was saying about, so stay tuned for those videos. 
But until then, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.